from childhood's hour, I have not been as others were. I have not seen as others saw. Then, in my childhood, in the dawn of a most stormy life, was drawn from every depth of good and ill, the mystery which binds me still. From the torrent or the fountain, from the red cliff of the mountain, from the sun that round me rolled in its autumn tint of gold, from the lightning in the sky as it passed me flying by, from the thunder and the storm, from the cloud that took the form, when the rest of heaven was blue, there were demons in my view. to be done, Justice Barry. Root the evil out and salt the earth where it grew. Now, now, let us not be hasty, folk. Nothing to be gained by being hasty. What's to be done, I say, about that demon, Satan's own minion in our midst? Hush! Ye whose tongue run faster than rabbits before the fox, heed Justice Barry. Am I not appointed justice in our village, good people? Do I not have the weight of my office? Then close thy mouths, open thy ears and thy souls. Virtuous citizen, now, all good people, heed this true. Me? Mm. Who's going to feed? He said heed, Goodman Jerkins. I like feed better. Heed this proclamation. Official oh, Lord Reap. On my government. Official. Who would that have been then? Those of us with brains tell people what to do. I've got brains. Yes, but you don't get to tell people what to do. I'd like to. Well, you can't. I want to eat. Why, Jerkins? Now then, a true declaration of the manor, a proceeding against Elizabeth Sawyer of Edmonton, spinster. Oh, she's a witch. A great and long suspicion was held of this person to be a demon by the information of her neighbors that dwelt about her. From a suspicion to proceed to a great presumption, to a positive green on opinion, and therefore fact. Fact! put forth by your government that she be strange and not wishing strange in our fair village, she be shunned. I thought we was to burn the witch! Yeah! Yes. Burn, burn, the witch. Burn, burn, burn the witch! Burn the witch! People, we need more evidence. Evidence will decide the matter. Evidence. evidence? I'll give thee evidence. She has marks on her body as follows. Firstly, her face is most pale and ghost-like, without any blood at all, and her countenance is most dejected to the ground. Ooh. Ooh. And secondly, her body is crooked and deformed, even bending together. He's a little crooked. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Look at that. Look. No, it's a lean. I'm a leaner. What did he say? He's a leaner. Well, we all be pretty lean if you get down to it this season. What's for supper? Silence. And furthermore, by that tongue in which by cursing, swearing, blaspheming, and imprecating. Imprecating. And finally, by the devil's own cards he carries. They be for telling fortunes and the like. They be for cursing. And spells. The devil's own pictures of hell. There's your evidence. You rave, Goodman Banks. Has anyone seen one of these cards? I seen one. What did it say, young Lance? The lovers. Meow, ribbit. Frank, I fear we're overtaken. Nay, my Winifred. You fright at lost dogs, evening frogs, and cat? I fright at her marriage out of church. Woof. Ribbit. Come, Win, thou art superstitious grown of late. Why, thou shalt know whom to call husband now. Well, 
You have here discharged the truest part of an honest man. My plots aim but to keep my mother's love, who would make a match for money. Mothers are won by degrees, not bluntly. I fear some evil may come between us. Things in the dark. Hey there, I thumb my nose thus at evil. I curse ye evil. Hush! Swear no more. We know not what harm can come of that. We shall meet again as soon as thou canst possible. We shall. Farewell, I must away. Love, I've heard of it. It's all fine. I was loved once. And I. I think my brother Frank be in love. To be married to Susan. What does one card prove? And I see a second card that day. What was, what was it, Lord? Tell us, Lance. The Knight of Rings. We, we must think on this further before we act. Troubles not wait. Troubles watch us. Stalk us. You, Frank, servant. Oh, it's thee, master! Disguised? I can't be seen with mongols like thee at night. I have my reputation. I come to tell thee in plain terms. Thou hast wronged thy master's house basely. Your house, sir? Yes, sirrah. All the country whispers of how shamefully thou wouldst woo a maid. Winifred. Pretty Winifred. A servant to me, like you, how common. You would not think to marry her. I, I was thinking on... Thou aren't paid to think on, nor paid to think off, but rather paid to think along my lines. If ye cast off the serving maid, at least a while, for I have need of her employ, I'll make the maiden thee a portion. Begging thy pardon, but a portion of what? Excuse me for being somewhat rude. So rude! A portion of what even I decide, and a continual friend. Then I claim thy promise, and consider a delay of honest intent. Honest, simple Frank, I will be thy friend, and such a friend. Now off with you. I shall do effectually. Ha <laughs> ha! Go thy way, cuckoo. Have I caught this serving man? Coarse and rude, and with no prospect save my portion. Ah! Win, my sweet and shiny pearl. I have heard news of this wooing, but all that is off. All now is safe. We shall woo too. But in truth, Sir Arthur, I cannot be pledged to two. But I have a claim to thee. Oh dear, I rhyme, how common. Pretty, pretty win, with me ye rise above thy station. Oh, blush to speak it further, as your noble gentleman forget a sin so monstrous to marry two. Marry two? What mean you? Oh, brat, rhymes again. Must be this fetid air. I be married to Frank already, sir, and my resolution is built upon a rock. Ah! Married! May it end in perfect sorrow, and split upon that rock. Then get you to a nunnery, and freeze in your cold cloister. Good angels, guide me! Woo! Meow. Oh, uh, rivet. Wickedless beast, like yourself. When I am gone, think on my complaint. When you played at the devil, I would have saint. Go! No, go thy ways. Honest. Hang her. Were you successful in your courtship, Sir Arthur? The fool prizes truth and virtue, words which I find confuse the poor. Give me hard coin and soft comfort. They say one cannot have all, maids, money, and might. Fools cannot, I can. And be damned, they say. How common! This is the age of reason. Ghosties and demonies and such things are dead. Woof! What's that? That be a dog. Meow. Ribbit. And that? That be a cat's frog. A 
cat frog dreadfully common. Oh, yes. Throw thy shoe at it! Ow! Um, oof! It's begun. Meow. Throw another shoe! Meow. It's the cat frog. Hmm. Meow. Ah! Gone! And so be my shoes. Ah, but you have the satisfaction of silence as you walk. That be most unsatisfying, truly. Like love. Can't make it happen, card say. Your offer, Master Carter. I cannot find fault with it. Tis so fair. I like young Frank well, ma'am. So does my Susan, too. The girl has a fancy to him which makes me ready in my purse. There be other suitors within that make much noise to little purpose. How now, girls, and how do you find the lasses, sir? You speak like a kind father. Sue, what sayest thou? Will thou be mine? Your what, sir? I dare swear friends, never your wife. Canst thou be so unkind? But shall I live in hope, Sue? Hope is a fine thing in life. Better so than to be a desperate man. You scorn me, Mistress Susan. And I am subject to be jeered at. Basers, be civil. Frank Thorny. A word, friend, on my life. This is the man that stands fair in crossing Susan's love to me. To me? Will you go in, gentlemen? We'll follow presently. My son and I have a few words of business. At your pleasure. Thou art to villain. A Devil like a man, wherein have I offended all the powers to be a mother to such a graceless, godless son? To me, ma'am, this. To thee speak truth and blush, thou monster. Hast thou not married Winifred, a maid, was fellow servant with thee? Some swift spirit has blown this news abroad. I must not face it. Do you study for excuse, while all country is full on it? Why canst thou yet deny that thou hast... No wife, tis Susan ye should wed, and her fortunes will be thine. What do you take me for, an atheist? Am I become so insensible of losing the glory of creation's work, my soul? Oh, I have lived too long. Fortunes, fortunes, care to have your fortune told? For a coin, help an old woman live? Off with you, witch, before I call for help. Curse you and all your kin. No, ma'am. My Christian duty is to obey you. I remain unmarried, as God save my soul. Well then, forgive me, Frank. Credulity abused me. I am sorry. I injured innocence. Alas, I knew your rage and grief proceeded from your love to me, so I conceived it. My good son, I'll bear with many faults in thee hereafter. Bear thou with mine. The peace is soon concluded. Mary Susan, I will for your state. We are on all sides pleased, I hope. Hey, I made it of the blessing sent me from heaven and all the saints. Now my heart is settled. So is mine. Your marriage money shall be received before your wedding shoes can be pulled on. Blessings on you both. What was that card ye hold from the witch? Nothing, nothing at all. Meow. Wibbit. Woof. 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 <coughs> Sorry. Character voice. Grimbok in here. Yes. Hello. I... No. I was assigned. My turn. That's right. Paddock in me. It's on the list. Yes, he's got the list and the purchase order. Three... No, four souls. Mm hmm What? What's a crone? Uh, it's, it's an old woman. Usually bad rep. Mm hmm What? Hold on. Does Beth rhyme with Heath? Beth does rhyme with Heath. Once upon a time, context is everything. Not a problem. We're professionals. Right. <laughs> Abandon all hope to you, too. Such red tape. 
Bureaucracy. Shocking. What? Did you emphasize we are professionals? Absolutely. We have our training. Not at this rodeo. We have our standards. And then some. We have our standards. Well, small village domestic paddock, yes, positively medieval. It is medieval. Well, renaissance. All right, age of discovery, the ascendance of reason, but, but the usual, the usual superstitions, paddock. Credulous. Such dinosaurs. Oh, yes. Remember the dinosaurs? Yes. They were big. Oh, yes, they were big. And then they died. Tragic. But did they sin? What? Did dinosaurs sin? Or if you're that primitive, does it count? Well, I, I see what you mean. Yes. Nice shoe. Had one chucked at me. I like yours too. If the shoe fits, swear it. Shoe, shoe be damned. Be damned. <laughs> ah, that's a pithy curse. That's a pithy shoe. Just turned a shade darker, I think. Did you ever wonder why? Here, devil's work is never done. Oh, hell that ends hell. Open locks, whatever knocks. To work, pick a card, any. Hmm. E miny mo catch a sinner by its toe. The crow. And why on me? Why should the envious world throw all of their scandalous malice upon me? Because I am poor, deformed, and ignorant. Some call me witch, and being ignorant of myself, they go about to teach me how to be one. Out, out upon thee, witch! I would knew I name more hateful. What makest thou upon my ground? Gather a few rotten sticks to warm me. Down with them when I bid thee quickly. I'll make thy bones rattle in thy skin else. You won't, churl, cutthroat, miser. There they be, with they stuck across thy throat. Thy bowels, thy maw. Sayest thou me so, hag, out of my ground. Poor woman, do you need help? Let her be, she is nothing poor, yet rich in sin. Thee buy rooms in hell with thy sins, witch. Here's the card he gave me. A curse it be, I curse thee. Let's be on, we have errands for Sir Arthur. Let us walk past these fetid vapors. Abuse me. Beat me, call me hag and witch. What is the name? Where and by what art learned? What spells, what charms or invocations may the thing called familiar be purchased? Would some power, good or bad, instruct me which way I might be revenged upon this town? Tis all one to be a witch as to be counted one. Vengeance, shame, ruin light upon these cankers. Woof, have I found thee cursing? Now thou art mine own. Thine, what art thou? We, thou hast so often importuned to appear to thee. Devils, meow and ribbit. Bless me, devils, what strange shapes are you woven in? She doesn't approve. I said that, Alf, it was just not you. I mean, what are you, a cat, a frog? I'm sorry, it's confusing. I like the ambiguity. Such strange speech you have. Yes, come, do not fear. We love thee much too well to hurt or fright thee. And we like your cards. We come out of our love to give thee just revenge against thy foes, and yet, the cards are sick. May I have one? May I believe thee? To confirm it, command me. Do any, sh do any mischief unto man or beast and I'll effect it. On condition. That, uncompelled, 
thou make a deed of gift of soul and body to me. Oh, if to you would just sign here. My soul and body? In that instantly, and seal with thy blood. If thou deniest, I'll tear thy body in a thousand pieces. Sorry. That's the catch. One time offer. I know not where to seek relief, but shall I, after such covenants sealed, seek revenge on all that wrong me? <laughs> Silly woman! Didst ever know or hear the devil a liar? You don't have to answer that question. Then I am thine, at least so much of me as I can call mine own. Seal with thy blood here. See, now I dare call thee mine. I'll tell thee, when thou wishest ill, corn, man, woman, beast, would a spoil or kill, turn thy back against the sun, and draw forth the card to summon the dog of night, Grey Malkin. And Paddock. And Paddock, the cat, frog of night. <clears throat> Your card back. Thank you. Wedding flowers? Curse the day when Fair Sue sees not my abundant features. I am sorely disappointed. Curse the day when Fair Sue sees not my abundant and manly virtues. I am grieved. I grieve more, and I am manlier. My manliness and grief cannot be compared to thy mouth-sized qualities. I would burst forth in tears, but I am too strong for that. I'm so strong that I can barely perfume the air with my sweet breath. My breath is far sweeter, but I shall hold it in check with my despair. A wedding. All wed except me. And I am the most elegant bachelor in all the country. Name my virtues. Um, you have just the right amount of toes. Hmm. And your head is above the ground compared to those whose heads are below the ground. Oh, I love being above ground. I have the best head above ground. Winifred don't deserve you. Such a common wench. But now Frank is marrying this Susan wench and Wynne says Frank is married to her. What say you to that? Magic. Hmm. How now, my lord, gentlemen? Cloudy, I know, Master Warbeck, you're in a fog about my daughter's marriage. And can you blame me, sir? My hopes are dashed upon the flinty rocks of bad judgment into the tiny shards of a once living man. My hope is that you are reserved to a richer fortune than my poor daughter. Nay, my hopes are more than dashed, swallowed more further. Even into despair, I'm swallowed whole by the wail of despair. But see, the bridegroom and bride come. The new pair of Sheffield knights fit it both to one sheet. No harsh language if thou lovest me. Good morrow, Master Bridegroom. Come, give thee joy. Mast thou live long and happy in thy fair choice. I thank ye, gentlemen, kind Master Warbeck. Farewell, Mistress Bride, till now elected thy old scorn to ride. The same. But more. Now the altar all mine, and we are the Lord's own perfect match. Why change thy face, sweetheart? Who I? For nothing. Dear, say not so. I have absorbed something strange in thee. In me? Thou art not kind in the concealment. I must know the grounds of thy disturbance. Take plainly, then. Twas told to me by a woman known and approved in the cards. I should have two wives. Palmistry? Two wives? You would keep me in sin? No, 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 my Winifred. <gasps> How say you? Winifred, you forget me. No, I forgot myself. Evil tempts you. Susan. Evil that must be cast out. Those who know not love for me, who make mischief for me, poor and cursed by all. Make mischief for the special, the praised, who think themselves holy. Grimalkin and Paddock, duty calls. I love a good day's work. 
what I always say. A job done hell. Is a job hell done. Measure twice. Cut right. once. Yet will ye leave me? But no, two wives? You must be brought to our law on bending knees and chastised to free thee from the devils in thy heart and mind. No! Oh, you fight me from thee? I'll not turn from it. If ye be honest, so tell me, what force ye'd kill me? I was before wedded to another. Have her still. Thy marriage was my theft. This shall be known to all, to your mother. No, no, ye shall not. The devil did not prompt me till this minute. Ye might have safe returned, now ye cannot. Ye have dogged your own death. Oh, twas time, let me for once be thine example, heaven, and do this soul, as I him we forgive. And may I better die, and the holy live. Tis done, and I am in. Once past our height, we scorn the deepest abyss. Ah, uh, light scratches, giving such a deep one, the best I can to blood myself. Now's the storm, which if blown o'er, many fair days may follow. How prosperous and effectual mischief sometimes is. Help! Help! Murder! 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 Ha! Huh. Who tolls the bell for? My daughter! Dead? Ah, uh, uh... On me, the cause appears too soon, my child. My son, Frank, my boy, not speak to thy mother. Oh, lend me some assistance. Let's overtake the murder, speak both thou can, and on may be too late. I fear thou hast death's mark upon thee too. I know them both, yet I dare not name him. Think what forced men do. Keep oath with murderers, that were a conscience to hold the devil in. Or back Somerton. I have him already. I do, and I'll have this. How do you, son? Oh, very ill, ma'am. Yes, I think so, but tis well you can speak yet. There's no music but in sound. Sound it must be. Ah, for the first go. All I needed was a little push. Yeah, oh, one might even say, maybe. We meet in an evil land that is near the gates of hell. Wait for thy command. To serve, to speed, or withstand. And thou sayest, I do not well. Passion, the flowers so red, are only tongues of flame. The earth is full of the dead. The new killed. Restless. Dead. What mischief have you set on? Murder of an innocent, corruption of a lover. False accusations! With great gifts comes great responsibility. True, you revenge well, my devils. What else what to, be else done? to be done? The plague! My horse this morning runs most piteously, and this I'll take my death upon as long as Jadish witch Mother Sawyer. My wife be sick. My cows no longer give milk. My chickens be irritable. They make faces. They do not lay. Tis, Tis a, a witch. witch. And what witches have we about us but Mother Sawyer? Rid the town of her. Else all her wives will do nothing but dance about other country maples. And dancing be sin. Wait, thee does it, it is. Our cattle fall, our wives fall, our daughters fall, and our maidservants fall, and we ourselves shall not be able to stand if this beast be suffered to graze amongst us. This is the very evidence we need. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Oh no! Burn the silence! Take heed, sirs, in what you do. Unless your proofs come better armed, instead of turning her into a witch, you'll prove yourselves stark fools. Fools? Errant fools. Wait till rots and foul maladies eat up thee and thine. Burn her before it is too late for us all. Would you not listen to reason? No, no reason! Burn her! Burn her! Burn her! Burn her! Burn her! Frank, you should be in bed till well. No, not I, Kate. All my other hurts are bitings of a poor flea. But these murderers, Warbeck and Somerton, 
are maimed by some demon incurably. They say they shall be put to death for this murder, and the harm to thee. Only heaven can judge them, not I. I wish heaven to pay. Traitor, that devil Somerton, who stood in mine eye once as an angel, but villain but himself, once loving thee, with Warbuck's soul would pawn his own to hell, to be revenged on my poor brother. Devils, they knew not their better selves. Speak no more of them. I shall pray for their immortal souls. For my part, I do freely forgive you both. A living saint he is. Let him rest. I pray for those who leave us, Lord, knowing t'was no fault of mine. Knowing though I slew her, I was innocent, and though I lied, what is it to thee who knows my heart? A knife! The bloody knife! Tis well, all's well. We are cozened. This villain killed Susan. Bless me. How the devil steers our brow after doing ill. My stomach and my sight are taken from me. All is not well within me. For pity's sake, remove her. See, she stares with open eyes still in my face. I didn't mean to kill thee. A villain thou art. Run for officers. Here's now, Mother Sawyer, let us to some mild questions. Tell us honestly, with a free confession, are you a witch or no? A witch? Who is not? Hold not that universal name in scorn, then. What are your lords and ladies who prey on the poor, politicians who load some work in the dark, act sin in fouler shapes than can be wrought? But those work not as you do! No, but far worse. In one small year, wasting our labor and toil, the man of law whose honeyed hopes the credulous client draw, as bees to tinkling basins to swarm him from his own hive to work the wax in his. He is no witch, not he. Yes, yes, but the law casts not an eye on these. By her very speech, she confesses, we know now she's a demon and dare no longer hold conference with the fury. But wait. She made mad my Frank! Justice! 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 justice, justice, justice evil evil in our our midst. Midst. Oh, it is enameled with the heart of thy hated wife, my beloved daughter. What sayest thou to this evidence? Is it not sharp? Does it not strike home? See, you, sir. Strike her no more. You see, she's dead already. The wrongs which singly fell upon your son on me are multiplied. He lost a life. My husband. How? More fire. Comfort and I are far too separated to be joined. But in eternity, I share too much of him that's going thither. Give me thy hand, poor woman. Do not weep. It was some devil that led me thus, not my nature. Farewell. Thou dost forgive me? How can I not? I too am sorry for you. I will pray for you, dear brother, for her sake. Sir Arthur, thou the bench hath mildly censured your heirs. You have indeed been an instrument that wrought their misfortunes. I wish you pay down your fines speedily and willingly. Though blameless, I'll need no urging to it. The best for our all is all that I desire. But for myself, I am glad these gentlemen are freed. We knew of our innocence and therefore feared it not. But I am glad that I have you safe. But what of the witch? It be she the black heart of it all. End her now, and by doing, end our tragedy. My near death? Fretfully, yes. Thy time has come. The gloss of thy sins is full, and it must run out to the stake. Talking to thin air, mad, away with her. But one curse more. Ye shall not purify the earth, as long as ye walk about it, and salt it with your sins. Thy wishes shall make witches, enough to plague thee to the end of time. Let not the world demons or devils condemn. They follow thee, and then thee follow them. Away with her! Away with her! Away with her! Burn her! Burn her! Join friends in sorrow, make of all the best. Harm's past may be lamented, not redressed. Away with her! Away with her! May I say, you really are on fire today. Thy time has come. The glass of thy sins is full and must run out at the stake. Practically Shakespearean. But not. Sadly, no. But good. Yes, uh, I have my moments. 
I liked her. The crone. She was nice. Not a tragedy, though. Tragedies teach us something. And generally, they're much longer. True. What's that? Yes? Yes, really? Not ours? Well, when? Forward? Future? Why? What's that you're saying? Hello? Gone? What did they say? Something like, by the pricking of their thumbs, something wicked, 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 wicked.